Good afternoon and welcome to Sky News at 5. I'm Gregory Burtons. These are tonight's headlines. The new Burberry line is taking the fashion retail industry by storm. A new chat show, Business Talk Time, has reached over 50 million views in the first week of its release. Stay tuned for an insight into this break. to the business talk show where we look at business organisations around the world and analyse the strategies for their success. I'm Abita Baker. And I'm Leanne Alvarez. This week we'll be focusing on how big retailers change their strategies to stay up to date with their consumer shopping habits. So, according to the Boston Consulting Group, there will be a 3 billion internet users globally by 2016. It's been described as the 2.7 trillion opportunity. The UK is le the leading revolution with 8.3% of GDP now online. So, what does that tell us about what's going on with online shopping and high street? Like, it's amazing. Paul is quite unbelievable. Actually, it's believable. I think there's an evolution going on, you know. Um, online has just taken the lead, you know, people are, they're converting to online shopping, but you know, I love high street, I love high street shopping, mm -hmm. you know, we need to save the high street and, you know, think of strategies that, you know, but work. Uh, yeah, and there's a retail organization that's doing both. Yeah, so this week we're going to be talking about, do you want to tell them? Burberry, I just, I love them. Me too. Did you know Burberry has more than 12.3 fans on Facebook? compared to their rivals, Louis Vuitton, with 7.3 million and Prada, 1.6 billion. Wow, that's amazing. Well, so correction, 1.6 million. I thought you said million, but that's just me. It made innovative use of Twitter platforms to hold the first ever tweet walk during London's Fashion Week. Followers of Burberry's Twitter account were able to see photographers from models wearing the latest collection uploaded in the real time as the show happens. Oh really? Mm -hmm. By openly sharing exclusive events with its fans and followers, Burberry has been able to directly engage with its customers online. But in favour of uh, High Street, Burberry launched its flagship store in Regent Street last year, which has been dubbed by Burberry World Live. The store includes the world's tallest retail screen, 550 hidden speaker screens, which turn into mirrors with when needed, and hydraulic stage for performances. Now that is cool, and that, that is so cool. Like, it's better than our We might as well just host in Burberry, you know? you know? But I'm for High Street. I, I, I love the High Street experience, you know? Mm. So now, we're going to go out of the studio to our business associate, Naomi. She's going to give us an insight to competitors. And Burberry. Where is she? Is she over there? She's over there. No, there. Like there. Which where? way? Like I don't. Know. Oh, she's, she's there. Gone. She's oh, there. she's there. Good afternoon and welcome to Burberry's headquarters. My name is Gabriella Torres and I am Naomi Adam. Today we're going to be talking about the competitors which are of today, which face Burberry. Examples include Louis Vuitton, Polo, Armani, and Gucci. Relative to that of Burberry competitors, they have positioned themselves very well in the minds of our consumers. They are all luxury goods. The difference between our brand is that we are very proud of our heritage. Burberry is known for the UK heritage and it goes all the way back to its history. Some of our competitors focus on mainly accessories, some mainly clothing, for example polo, and there are some more affordable than others, such as Zara. We are expensive, but we focus on quality. So for do our example, competitors. Polo, and there we are some more affordable than others, such as Zara. We are expensive, but we focus on quality. So do our competitors. We use innovation in order to make us stand out. Our new line of iconic heart print shirts are out, and we are doing very well. Other retail stores are even making similar goods to our, to our shirts. Burberry has succeeded in penetrating both the accessories and apparel market while remaining a luxury good. It has many different lines within the Burberry brand, which allows for more high-end goods to be feasible for purchase by the general population. Mm -hmm. Overall, 
overall, Burberry's position in non-functioning luxury is extremely competitive and will sustain over the long term. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love my pants. It's so cool. Oh, shit. We're live! <laughs> so, oh, anyway. Okay. Thank you, Naomi, for your little documentary on competitors. And we are going out of studio again to our urban business associate, Simon. Simon! And he's going to be talking to the most important, important part of organizations, consumers, customers, and you um, know. I want to know if they prefer online shopping or high street shopping. Toodles. Hello, I'm Simone. Uh, I'm the Central Registry in London. And now I'm going to conduct a short survey about people. Uh, I'm going to ask if they prefer shopping online or in high street. Depends actually. Um, if I'm looking for something expensive, I probably want to get it over the high street because I want to see the items first. But then for the items that I don't need to, uh, urgently, then uh, I don't mind buying it online. Yeah. It depends on the stuff, but if it's expensive, I prefer to yeah. check it out on the for example, high street. For example, for example uh, a laptop. Yeah, no. I don't want to buy a laptop online, yeah, so I want yeah. to see the laptop yeah, yeah. first and what it can do. Yeah. But then if it comes to socks, yeah. Then I just prefer to buy it yeah. online, or right. if uh, I'm buying a DVD or anything, I'll do it. Alright. Okay. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, man. Take care, man. Take care. Good night. Uh, Bazaar, do you prefer high street or online shopping? I prefer high street. Why? Reason being because I can see the products and I can try it on if I'm going to buy clothes. Or even if it's electronic, I have to see the product before I can have to feel it before I buy it. Because if I'm going to spend money, I have to touch it before I can spend money. Because it's hard on money. So that's, that's the reason I rather prefer uh, high street. Alright. Thank you very much. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm right. good. How are you? Man? Really good. So, uh, do you prefer high street or light shopping? Oh, high street. Top, top, top man. I try to shop in top man. Yeah. Why? It's because of uh, it's because of the the variety of selections top man offers me. Um, they're, they're, they're the style I usually go for, so I like to see them. So I I prefer to do high street. What, what's your favorite shop? Uh, top man of arcade. Well, what do you think about Burberry? Burberry. I think they're quite a good brand as well. All right. Thank you very much. Huh? Thank you.
Oh my god, wasn't that fight a bit too extreme? Just a little bit extreme, but hey. Hey, that brings us to the conclusion and the recommendation. Organizations and businesses can learn a lot from Burberry. They have amazing strategies, you know? In just a few years, Burberry lost its old cultural status and developed new cutting-edge trends to become a modern, luxury, differentiated brand. With a key strategy of brand extension, its very British image, it soon became popular in the US and the Asian markets. Oh my god, that's awesome. What Burberry has done is blur the divide between physical and digital. The store was designed to stand as a physical of its website. The company has made it clear that it wants to be known as a current brand and is in touch with today's technology and its shop achieves this. In simple words, all is well in Burberry because of its past and present strategies. Yeah. They work, you know, they're just amazing, you know, for the 21st century. And that brings us to the end of our show today. Unfortunately, it yeah. does. But tune in next us. week for more. I'm a beat of Leanne Alvarez. To Lou for now. Cha cha. Ciao. Cha cha.